Hi and welcome to this video on reporting snapshots in Salesforce. Uh, if you're not show, sure what those are, it's a tool in Salesforce that allows you to report on trends. So you can take a snap, basically like a still frame of a report at a given time and save that into a record of a custom object. So I have this report leads by status that just show the open leads currently. Um, and if we want to show how open leads are changing over time, we're going to have to use a reporting snapshot that takes this report and saves the record count into a custom op into a record of a custom object, which I have the report right here, open leads trend. So it saved one on 2.9 and then the week after, week after, and then this week. So this one's weekly, but you can change it to monthly or yearly. But every week, it takes that lead report of open leads for that week at that given time, saves it into an object, records the record count, and then with those objects, we're able to create this report to show how our open leads are changing over time. The first thing you need to do is create this object that you're gonna store your values in. Um, so just go to setup. And this example is simple because we're just using a record count, but you can use whatever values you want, like amount. Um, but if you don't know how to use a, how to create a custom object, we have a video on that but there's nothing new, just add the fields. This is a number, if you're using amount, it's gonna be a currency. Um, and then once you have your uh, custom object, you can create a snap. You can just search snap, any home, click find. Reporting snapshots. And then I already have one, so I'll show you. When you go to create one, it'll look like this. Uh, you can just call the uh, reporting snapshot name, whatever you want. And then running user, I just selected myself. But that's basically who the owner of the record, like the person who created the record of the object will be. And then you click your source report which is leads by status for me. And then I named my object lead snap. So the information from this report will be saved into this object. Once you save your snap, you're gonna to have to edit your field mappings. You just scroll down to here, edit. And it shows all the fields that are in your object here. And then on the left, it'll show possible entries into that object. Um, so the only thing I really need is my record count. The last thing you need to do for your snap is decide how often it's going to run. So you go to schedule reporting snapshot. You have the option to send an email to you or someone else uh, when it's recorded every time it fires. Uh, you can set it to daily, weekly, or monthly. This one's set to weekly. You can choose the date or the, uh, the week or month, you can choose the, like the first, second, whatever you want. And then you can choose the start time and end time. Uh, automatically, it's just set to a year from when you created the snap. Uh, but uh, after that date, it'll stop running. And you can also select, select a preferred start time. and save. So that will run every week. So your snap is set up. Um, the last thing you need to do is actually just create the report on your object. So just click new report and then search for your uh, your snap objects, the thing you, you save the record information into. And 
Yeah, so then you could pull you can pull in in my case record count field that you're measuring on and then you can also group by the created date and then add the chart and there you have it it will show the trend of that value for that record over time that you specified Thanks so much for watching this video. Let us know what you think in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more Salesforce cloud tips and tricks. Also, check the link in the description to subscribe to our Connex newsletter, where we curate the latest and greatest cloud content to help you become more effective and more aware of the tech that can help your business scale efficiently. Finally, if you need some support for our projects or want to bounce some ideas off us, head over to our website and let us know how we can help. Thanks again for listening.